Hi, this is Divya Pandit, your tarot card reader, spiritual healer and life coach. So here I am with another video on money magic. Because money video I had made long time back which you know uh, had very good uh, feedback from everybody. So now I am I like, I'm on a spree on making magical videos where I am actually telling people how to use a little bit of herb magic and oils and making teas and everything. So I thought of making a magical video for uh, money manifestation. So as everybody is looking for magic and that's what I see in my comments. So I've uh, made this very simple video with small little ingredients from your home, from your kitchen which you can use for manifesting money. Very easy ways. Okay, so now here I will share the first remedy, the first magical spell which is extremely easy to make which is called prosperity powder. Hmm. When you make prosperity powder you can use 3-4 ingredients which you can get in your kitchen itself. One is ginger powder, one is uh, cinnamon powder and one is clove powder. So cloves we all have, we can crush them and make it into powder, that's not a big deal. Okay. So what we'll do is, first we'll create a sacred space. Sacred space is normally created by uh, cleaning the place in the kitchen when you are making any such thing you will clean the space you will smudge it with uh, sage or you will just clean it with salt water or you will use dhoop anything that can be create that will create the, you know a beautiful energy over there then you will take uh, cinnamon powder okay uh, you are going to affirm it very strongly when you take it you will affirm and put it in a bowl then you will take ginger powder, you will affirm and put it in a bowl. You can put 1, 1, 2, 2 teaspoons as much as you like. Then you can uh, take clove powder, again affirm and put it in a bowl. Okay, after putting all these three ingredients, uh, you can hold the bowl in your hand and again hold it and put a very strong intention as to what you want that powder to do for you. After you have affirmed it, you will transfer it in a small pouch, a green color pouch or yellow pouch also will do green or yellow okay you can transfer it in that and you can use it wherever you feel you need prosperity after you've affirmed it and put it in the bag also before putting it putting it in the bag you have to smudge the bag too because you don't want any other unwanted energies in that so you're going to take the bag put the powder in that and then you will take the powder and sprinkle it anywhere you feel you need prosperity you are going to put it in your locker, you are going to put it in your cash box, you can put it in any area where you feel at home where you sit and do your work or you feel that money might come through so and so reasons or so and so direction. You can just put it in there. You can put it in the office, you can keep it in the bowl in the office, you can carry it with you in your bag as a talisman, as a cute little mojo bag and anywhere you go for important meeting or anything, you just can sprinkle it on yourself. You can just put uh, that prosperity powder in four corners of your house. Four corners of your house, if you put, you will see the beautiful magical change happening of prosperity in your house. It works beautifully, believe me, it does. And it gets a beautiful energy around in the house. You will see everybody happy, you will see there are no money blocks, you will see amazing results with it. Okay, so this is something I use, so I am sharing. The second tip I want you to learn is the Kubera Yan, Kubera Mudra. So now I have been sharing Kubera Yantra on my Facebook page. Okay, so you can please go there, have a look and you know, you will know how to make a Kubera Yantra. Chant the Kubera Mantra and 108 times and that Yantra will be charged because already energies have been put in that. Okay. So now I am going to teach you how to make the mudra. When you make this mudra, remember, at least 5-10 minutes a day, you will see a sprout of desire to earn money first. If anybody is going through any kind of negative feeling about money or because their work is not happening, that negative feeling will vanish and you will start attracting good work and you will start you know, moving forward in life. So this mudra, you have to do it just 5-10 minutes in a day. And till your work is not done, even if your work is done, still continue doing it to get more work. So this is my hand. You put these two last fingers like this and these three fingers like this. Okay, and give it a little pressure. When you make this mudra, 
just sit in the uh, meditative state and concentrate on what you are doing. Concentrate on keeping your thoughts very positive at that time. Okay? I will do it again. These two fingers here and these three here. And give a little pressure here. Okay? This is the Kubera Mudra for money manifestation. Now the third tip I would like to uh, talk about is a spell. As it's a magical video, so definitely I'll be talking about spells. It's a full moon spell. On the full moon, you will go near the window. First, you're going to have your ritual bath. Okay, I have mentioned about ritual baths, where you will take a bath with either rose water, rose oil, rose petals, or you can just put a different kind of things in your bucket. Like you can put crystals, you can put any herb that you have at home. Fine. You take a ritual bath, you can just put camphor oil, you can put clove, you can put anything. Okay? You can just take a bath, you stand in front of the window on a full moon night. Okay? Now, here one thing is very, very important because you need to have a silver bowl. People who do not have a silver bowl will take a bowl which looks like a silver bowl, has, is silver in color. Okay, no other option for this. Over here, you have to use a silver bowl or an artificial silver looking bowl. You have to take a silver bowl in your left hand. In your left hand, you will hold a silver bowl. You will go near the window, stand there on a full moon day, a full moon night. And even if the moon is not visible, but it's still a full moon. Okay, and with your right hand, you are going to clockwise. At the edge of the bowl, you are going to run your fingers like this. You are going to pray to the moon goddess. You are going to concentrate on that bowl and the full moon and the goddess of the moon. O goddess of the moon, shower me with abundance, with gold and silver in my hands and I will receive everything that you will give me with happiness. Again, I am repeating, O moon goddess, shower me with all the happiness, with silver and gold, you can add diamonds if you want, and I will receive everything that you will give me with happiness. Do it 21 times, 11 times, or you can just keep it, keep doing till you say this spell, okay? After doing this, you're going to keep that bowl, hold it in your hand, affirm again and keep that bowl in your locker or any safe place where you keep your money. Again on next full moon, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do this three full moons or more. Even if your work is done, you can still go on doing it because it will still keep giving you abundance in your life. Okay? Believe me, in two to three full moons, if things don't change in your life, I am guaranteeing you there's so much of amazing results with this. But again, you have to be open to receiving. You have to clean your aura, chakra and affirmations. Unless you are not ready to receive, you will not receive. It's a magical, magical spell which works absolutely amazing for everybody who wants to do it. Who's everybody who's ready to receive money. Remove your judgment about money and go ahead with your open arms. Okay? This is the third tip which I am giving you. The fourth one is how to make Lakshmi ji happy. Lakshmi ji gets very happy on a full moon day again. Take a yellow cloth or a mojo bag or a small yellow pouch. Take 11 or 21 cowries. Okay? Hold it in your hand. Like I said, you have to smudge and clean everything. So smudge and clean the cowry, smudge and clean the pouch and hold it in your hand. Affirm very strongly for abundance for money. Put it in the bag and keep it in your locker, keep it in your purse, keep it in your office bag. Make it like a small little cute little mojo bag for yourself. Magical bag where wherever you go to office, meeting, your business, Anywhere you can keep it in your cash box, you can keep it in your locker, you can keep it in the mandir itself. 
for it to manifest further okay the last upaya that i'm going to give you the last remedy that i'm going to give you is uh, about i remember giving everybody a remedy for magical water to remove evil eye this is again a magical water which you will make for yourself for prosperity you will take a glass bottle now again i'm re repeating no plastic bottles no metal bottles here here we need only a glass bottle okay you take a glass bottle what will you do is you will again cleanse it smudge it okay of all the previous energies then you're going to fill it with water drinking water then you're going to take the herbs you're going to take lemongrass and cinnamon both are e very easily available you're going to hold lemongrass in your hand lemongrass in your hand and you're going to affirm very strongly as to what you want you will put it in the bottle you will hold cinnamon in your hand you will affirm very strongly you will put it in the bottle and after that you're going to close the lid and put it outside in the sun for it to soak all the positive energies also over here you can add crystals you can wash the crystals smudge the crystals and add in it you can put citrine you can put pyrite you can put green aventurine jade or you can even put sunstone all these crystals all you don't have to put any one also you can put and or if you have all of them you can put all of them okay you can put it inside the bottle affirm very strongly what you want after it is charged for another 3 4 hours you can take the bottle and keep it in the fridge use it in your drink use it just like that or you can add it in your cold coffees in your you know uh, coke or anything that you're drinking anything that you're drinking you can have this just before you go for important work if i am going to uh, take money from someone i will do it new business venture yes i'm going to drink it you drink it when there are important occasions in your life okay and after you are done with the affirming and charging and everything you can remove the crystal wash them and then reuse it again this was a question many people asked me you can reuse those crystals by washing smudging them keeping them aside and again you can make it not necessary that once it's used you have to throw no you can make it okay so these are my five magical remedies for y'all and on your request lot of magic magic happening and do let me know whether these have helped you how they have helped you you can call me and share you can tag me on facebook with your uh, your uh, feedbacks you can tell me on uh, below this video in the comments any ways that you can reach me you can but if you want my personal consultations you have to email me or message me on facebook and that will be a paid appointment only email me at whitelighthealingcenter@gmail.com or you can also go to my facebook like my facebook there's a lot of information there follow me on instagram because i am putting up videos spiritual tips by divya pandit so that is very very useful very different tips so do follow me there and see ya next time with more videos to come bye bye god bless bye